So in this video, I'm going to show you how to take the Kramer Rayo lower bound of the exponential distribution. Now the exponential distribution, this is our PDF. And this here is our formula for the Kramer Rayo lower bound. Now this is the third or fourth video of a sequence of videos on the Kramer Rayo lower bound. Check the link below and you'll see some other examples of what we do to find that. It's all about finding the minimum variance of a particular distribution. So what about the exponential distribution? So look at this formula here, it looks pretty intimidating. But if you break it down, it's actually pretty straightforward. So I'm going to break it down into parts for you and show you how to get there. So Kramer Rayo lower bound. So that's one over N times the expectation of the derivative with regards to lambda of the log of f of x given a lambda. And this term is all squared. Okay, so let's break it down into steps. So before we could take the derivative, first of all, we need to take the log. So let's do that. So let's just break that down, first of all, into different parts. So log of f of x given lambda, that's our PDF. That's the same as the log of the PDF here. So just put that in brackets, e to the exponential raised to the negative lambda x. Okay, using normal log rules, we can break this apart into what we need next. So log of lambda is going to be our first term. And as it's multiplied, we add the log of the exponential function. Okay, so that's our first term. So straight away we can see we can simplify things off. Log and exponential are inverse of each other, so they're going to cancel out. So that's going to give us log of lambda plus negative lambda x. So this plus can become a minus and put negative lambda x. Okay, great. So we've got the first part done. Now we need to take the derivative with regards to lambda. So now the derivative with regards to lambda of log of lambda minus lambda x. Well, derivative of log of lambda, we know that's 1 over lambda. And minus lambda x, well x, x here is a uh, constant, so the lambda will disappear. So now we've got minus x. Okay, so that's our derivative taken care of. So let's just write that up here, take this off the board. Okay, so now we need to square this term and take the expected value. So let's square this. So one over lambda minus x. Let's square that and take the expected value. So one over lambda squared, uh, that's gonna be our first term. This minus x squared is going to give us plus x squared. And then we're going to have 2 of minus x times 1 over lambda. So that's minus 2x over lambda. Okay, that's great. Now let's take the expected value. So the expected value of 1 over lambda minus x all squared. So just put a bracket in there just to make sure we've got that clear. We now have got expected value of 1 over lambda squared plus x squared minus 2x over lambda. Okay, now we can break this apart by expectation of linearity rules. So let's do that. So now we've got e of 1 over lambda squared plus e of x squared plus, oh sorry, minus expectation of 2x over lambda. Okay, now still some work to do here. So the expectation of 1 over lambda squared, well there's no x term in there, so that's just going to be what the value is inside. So that's 1 over lambda squared. Expectation of x squared, I'm going to come to in a minute. 
But this one here, we can just break apart a little bit. So we could take this two over lambda out and just leave E of X. So that's that term there. And then this one plus E of X squared. Now in a previous video, we worked out how to find the variance of the exponential function. Now in that, our variance of x was calculated by e of x squared minus e of x, that term squared. So this one is the second moment and this one is the mean squared. Sometimes they can be the same, but on this case here, they are going to be different. Now in that video there, we worked out that e of x squared is 2 over lambda squared and e of x was 1 over lambda term squared. Now if you want to know how to get to that, check the link below and you'll see how this is done via integration. So now we can check out these terms here and put in what our values are. So 1 over lambda squared plus e of x squared, which is 2 over lambda squared and then subtract 2 over lambda, e of x is 1 over lambda. Okay, now straight away we can just change that to 2 over lambda squared. Okay, so now we can see that these two cancel out and we're left with 1 over lambda squared. So let's take that off the board and plug that into our crane. Okay, so now we've got some terms we can write in here. So we've got n times the expectation of all of this term squared. So that gave us 1 over lambda squared. So times 1 over lambda squared. Okay, so all we need to do now is just simplify this up. And we've got our kramer rayo lower bound for the exponential distribution. So that's going to give us... So if we just put this term over 1, so now we've got this one here, which is just basically n over lambda squared. So we've got 1 over n over lambda squared. Take that off the board. So now that just simplifies to lambda squared over n. So you can see this is an asymptotic distribution. As n increases, it will get smaller and smaller and smaller as lambda squared will stay the same. So that's our kramer rayo lower bound. So let's write that there equals a lambda squared over n. Okay, 